The Ultimate Maltipoo Dog Breed Guide A Maltipoo is a cross between a Maltese and a Poodle. They are also known as a Moodle, Maltipoo, Maltipoo or simply a Maltese Poodle. They are well known for being adorable, affectionate and fun-loving. They are a relatively new hybrid breed. When Poodle cross breeds became popular in the early 2000s, Maltipoos were created as a hypoallergenic companion animal. Today, the Maltipoo dog breed is one of the most popular designer Oodle dog breeds on the market. Maltipoos are gentle and love spending time with their owners. They also train easily. This makes them a great pet for families with older children or for first-time dog owners. Physical Appearance Because they are a mixed breed, their appearance can vary greatly depending on their parent dogs and what generation of Maltipoo they are. The American Kennel Club, and other similar organizations, have not set a breed standard for the Maltipoo as they are a designer breed, aka. Mixed Breed Coat and Colors a Maltese's coat only comes in white. However, a poodle's coat comes in a wide variety of colors. This means a Maltipoo's coat can also come in many different colors including Black Brown Gray Red Apricot Cream White Their coat is medium length. The style of coat is determined by the puppy's parents. A Maltipoo with more poodle in their genes will have a thicker, rougher and curlier coat. It will need to be brushed regularly to avoid tangles. A Maltipoo with more Maltese in their genes will have a thinner, softer and straighter coat. It will be easier to groom. Size The Maltipoo is a small crossbreed. Their size will vary depending on whether they are mixed with a toy poodle or miniature poodle. Generally, the male puppies are usually larger than female puppies. Their size makes them unsuitable for families with kids younger than 5 years old, as they can be injured by rough handling. If you do have young children, look for Maltipoos bred from miniature poodles as they will be a little bigger and therefore hardier. Supervise your children when playing with your Maltipoo and teach them to handle it gently. Here's an overview of the three different types, teacup, toy, and miniature, of Maltipoos and their sizes. Teacup Maltipoo Teacups come from these two breeds, Toy Poodle and Maltese, both which have smaller sizes as well. This type of dog has one trait no other breed can boast it's so much cuter than your average regular-sized canine because it's grown to fit their miniature body frame without sacrificing personality or intelligence. This breed of dog is perfect for those who want to have a pet but are living in limited space. The teacup Maltipoo remains fairly small even when it has reached its full size, which means you can bring this little guy with you wherever life may take you. Toy Maltipoo The Toy Maltipoo is among the most popular choices of Maltipoos. This size can be perfect for those who love this breed, as it's not too big or small. These dogs usually grow to about 10 pounds and are 8-10 inches tall when they reach adulthood. Miniature Maltipoo Miniature Maltipoos are a medium-sized mixed breed of dog that typically measures around 30 to 40 centimeters tall when they're adults. Most people use the term Miniature Maltipoo to refer to these dogs because their weight should be between 5 to 12 kilos, which is larger than other breeds in this category. Miniatures can weigh up to 12 kilos, but most tend toward 5 kilo or less. Temperament. Maltipoos are very gentle and affectionate companion dogs. They love nothing more than to spend time with their humans and have a cuddle on your lap. They are best suited to owners who will be able to spend a lot of time with them and who want a dog they can become best friends with. Maltipoo puppies are playful and fun. They love to chase a ball outside or play tug of war with their owners. They will play with other pets too if they are socialized from a young age. The Maltipoo temperament is very sensitive and they can get stressed out by loud noises, new environments or being punished angrily. Be calm and gentle with your Maltipoo and always train it using positive reinforcement techniques. Like most small dog breeds, if they are worried about something they will bark to alert their humans. However, they are too affectionate to ever be aggressive. Whilst they can be timid, pet parents and Maltipoo lovers all agree that they are very friendly dogs. They make great therapy dogs and wonderful family pets. Health. Maltipoos are overall a very healthy dog breed. Their life expectancy is 14 years. Crossbreeding dogs lowers their likelihood of genetic health problems, meaning they have fewer health issues than purebred dogs. It is important to desex and vaccinate your new Maltipoo puppy. You should also take proper measures to prevent ticks, fleas and worms. If you suspect your Maltipoo dog is unwell, always take it to a vet. Even healthy dogs should be taken to the vet annually for a checkup. Problems and Disease The most common Maltipoo health problems are Ear infections Epilepsy seizures Progressive retinal atrophy 
degeneration of the eyes, Lake Calvapertis disease, degeneration of the bones in the hips, white shaker syndrome, tremors, multipus as pets, hypoallergenic dog. The multipoo breed is classified as a hypoallergenic dog. They don't shed much hair and therefore people with pet allergies don't typically have a reaction around them. This makes them a popular pet choice for those who have a family member with dog allergies. Poodles are hypoallergenic so multipoos get this trait from their poodle parent. The more poodle they have in their genes, the more hypoallergenic they will be. People with dog allergies not only react to dog hair but also dog saliva and dander, dead skin flakes. Therefore, some people with severe dog allergies may still have a mild reaction to multipoos. Grooming Your multipoo will need regular grooming to keep its coat looking clean and smelling fresh. Grooming requirements can vary between individual dogs, depending on their parents' fur. Dogs with more poodle genes have a coarser coat that is more prone to getting matted. It will need more regular care. Dogs with more Maltese genes have a smoother coat that is easier to look after. Brush your multipoo at home often to avoid knots in their fur. It is recommended you take your pet multipoo to a professional groomer every six weeks to have their fur washed, trimmed, nails cut, tear stains wiped from their eyes and ears cleaned out, to avoid ear infections. Brush its teeth regularly at home or feed it doggy dental treats to prevent gum disease. Daily exercise requirements. The multipoo is a small breed and therefore they are not high energy dogs. The larger a multipoo is, the more energy it will typically have. They are suitable for apartments or houses with small backyards and owners usually choose to keep them inside, sleeping in a small dog kennel or crate. However, they still need daily exercise to keep them happy and healthy. A regular exercise routine will wear your multipoo out both physically and mentally. The best way to exercise your multipoo is by taking it on a daily walk, until it is tired. You can also throw a toy around the backyard to help wear it out more. The multipoo is prone to running away from its owners and therefore should be left on its leash unless you are in a secure dog park or fenced yard. Training. The multipoo is an intelligent dog, thanks to their poodle parent. Whilst it will vary between each individual dog, most multipoos are easy to train and can be potty trained quite quickly. Starting obedience training from an early age will be most effective. But it is never too late to train your multipoo. Multipoo puppies need to be trained using positive reinforcement and praise. They can get stressed by aggressive tactics which will only hinder their progress. A multipoo may develop separation anxiety so it is important to train them from an early age that it is okay to be left alone. If you don't, they will get stressed out and may bark excessively or destroy belongings in your home. The multipoo is a social dog and naturally loves being around humans. However, it is important to socialize them with other dogs and other animals from an early age. This will prevent any fears developing and teach them it is okay to be around other dogs without barking or misbehaving. Diet Your dog's diet is important as it will impact their overall well-being and help them live a healthy life. Feed your pet multipoo a high-quality diet. Dry food is best as it keeps their teeth clean and encourages healthy bowel movements. However, many multipoo owners feed their dog a mix of wet and dry food without any issues. Wet food is typically tastier to your dog and therefore what they prefer to eat. As they are a small breed, it is best to feed them two meals per day, breakfast and dinner, rather than just one big meal once a day. A multipoo puppy will need to be fed more often than an adult as they are growing and require more energy. Always feed treats sparingly, save them for special occasions and for training. Eating too many treats may lead to obesity and related health issues. Multipoos for sale. Welcoming a multipoo into your life as your newest family member is a big and exciting decision. Once you've decided it is a suitable dog breed for your lifestyle, you then need to do research on where to buy one from. Let us help you. Where to buy and price. Designer dogs, such as multipoos and other poodle mixes, are becoming increasingly popular. They are therefore more expensive than many breeds. Multipoos puppies. A pet multipoo puppy can cost up to $5,000 from a reputable breeder. It may cost extra if you require the puppy to be delivered to you, especially if it has to travel on a plane. There is often a very high demand for multipoo puppies and other popular designer dog breeds. Breeders will most likely require you to pay a non-refundable deposit and go on a waiting list. Most breeders will sell their multipoo puppies when they are 8 to 12 weeks old. By then, they should have already seen a vet and received their first vaccinations. Do lots of research and find a registered multipoo breeder you feel comfortable with.
Ask them lots of questions, visit the home the puppies live in and only buy from reputable breeders that treat their dogs well. Multi-poo puppies from reputable breeders will generally have less health issues and often come with a health guarantee. This is because they do genetic testing on their dogs to avoid common health problems. Health clearances from the Canine Eye Registry Foundation will show you they have a minimized chance of eye issues such as progressive retinal atrophy. Avoid buying multi-poo puppies from a pet store. While it may be convenient, your designer dog may then come from a puppy mill. Do not support puppy mills as their dogs often live in poor conditions and are mistreated. Adult Maltipoos Another great option is adopting an adult Maltipoo who is in need of a family. You could contact local animal shelters or rescue groups to see if they have any available. It is rare to find poodle hybrid breeds or small dogs that have been given up for adoption but it is worth a look to give an older dog a second chance at life. Adopting an adult dog is cheaper than buying Maltipoo puppies and typically costs around $500. This covers them being desexed, microchipped, vaccinated and checked by a vet.